Sitting in her favourite room of Italy's most precious villa, Princess Rita Boncompagni Ludovisi reflects on how lucky she's been to call it home for the past two decades. The house uh, will always be in my heart. It, it has so many, every room has a memory for me. This is by Guercino, Brio, Viola, Domenichino, the Centro Pomerancho. Another treasure of the 32,000 square meter Roman estate, known as Villa Aurora, is a Michelangelo statue. But the property's centerpiece is Caravaggio's only ceiling painting, which dates back to 1597. Jupiter, Neptune, and Pluto represents the elements that Cardinal Francesco del Monte used in his alchemy work. He, he put his face and his body on each one. The Texas-born 72-year-old met Prince Niccolo Boncompagni Ludovisi in 2003, marrying six years later. She says their project to restore the 16th century home was a labor of love. We sacrificed everything for the villa and uh, we restored the exterior, put a new roof on. I digitized 150,000 documents going back a thousand years. After the prince died in 2018, the house became part of an inheritance dispute between the princess and her late husband's three sons. An Italian court ruled that it should go to auction, but at what price was the big question. It was not a simple task because there were no parameters of comparison. The Caravaggio alone was valued at 310 million euros. Amid rumours of international billionaires as potential buyers, there's a growing petition calling on the Italian government to intervene and make it a state-owned property available to the public. The government can block the sale, but it must match the auction price. Many hope that the state can acquire the property because it is the best way to secure its preservation and access. But it's also true that Italy can't financially commit to every one of its many cultural heritage sites. April 7 has been set as the second auction date and the price will be reduced by 20%. The princess hopes that her late husband's legacy will live on in the next owner. I hope as someone that has a real sensitivity about art and history, and gives it the love and care that we gave it for 20 years. Hermione Kitson, CGTN, Rome.